guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be uh, riding uh, Gonzales Canyon stairs section. So it starts right here next to Cathedral Catholic, uh, Seagrove, there's this offshoot. Go take that, and you'll follow that under Delmar Heights Road, keep going. Then you'll hit the stairs, go down the stairs, follow the stairs, and it pops out right in this canyon. Then this canyon you'll follow. In the video, I end up going up this. Don't do that, it's not fun, you end up walking. The easiest thing is just to keep following this orange line and then turn up here, right, and keep going and then come down it. I would not recommend this, uh, same with the stairs for uh, beginners and intermediates as it is pretty technical. The stairs just walk down them and this I would just skip. Unless you're pretty good at mountain bike riding, I would really recommend this. It's a lot of fun, but there are a lot of big drops and places you can go off uh, the edge of the trail. So definitely would not recommend this for beginners intermediates but if you want to try it I would definitely try this the stairs um, if you're intermediate I'd recommend maybe doing the final few but the beginning stairs are definitely really hard but from there you'll follow go under Delma Heights Road bomb down the final trail end up right here uh, how I usually get back is I take Carmel Valley Road up this way Delma Heights Road and you're back at Cathedral Catholic. That is definitely the fastest. There are other ways through the neighborhood, but they're a little more uphilly. And that's the loop. Let's get on to the riding. Uh, hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do another Gonzales Canyon Trail. This is the stairs entrance. This is probably the shortest, but probably the hardest, but get the easiest. So it starts with these really long stairs, or drops short, steep stairs, and that's the hardest part to do, but most people usually walk down those, and then they'll do the uh, the canyon, and then do the final downhill. And it's a good thing to start on. So this is a great trail for starting. Just walk down the first part, and you'll be completely fine. Uh, it starts in the Ashley Falls neighborhood area. Uh, this is Cathedral Catholic, right next to me. So as you can see, there is a little offshoot right up here next to Cathedral Catholic. So if you want to practice this trail to get good to those stairs which are really good for learning how to do technical sections so you can park right here in the cathedral catholic parking lot if they allow you and then ride down and you'll go under Delmar heights under this little tunnel it's pretty nice and yeah so this trail is really good for if you want to do like a family easy trail you just I'll bike under here, and then you'll walk down the stairs, because they're easy to walk down, biking down them. It takes a lot of work, so that's what you'll want to do. And we looks like we might get a rainy day soon. We definitely need it, because we've had the driest winter I think I've ever lived through. But yeah, so comes up right here, you go next to the houses, you drop right in. Hopefully I don't fail this time. I've only gotten this down two times, so let's hope my luck lasts long. As you can see, sorry for the sick video. This is just really dropping. Woo. I didn't even need to use my front brake that time. Yeah, as you can see, they are very steep in the beginning. And they go on for a bit. I would recommend, if you want to start practicing on them, do some of the lower ones first. As they'll give you practice with just drops that are pretty wide and not too steep. And then, I just keep going. This one I have never done, but I'm going to try it today because I love my viewers. Oh! As you can see, that is really rutted out. If you jump it, it's really nice because, but the problem is the landing isn't that great. As you can see this, drops down right in the valley and you're on your way it's honestly a really short trail so yeah I'll cut towards 
uh, whenever stuff gets interesting right now. All right, guys, I'm going to take you back a different way. This one is pretty steep uphill. So if you want, just take the way from the other uh, videos, which is just follow the path. So this way, right as the tunnel starts, uh, there's a little Y and you go over that grate, which you should have just saw. And yeah, we're heading through. This is a bit of a detour, but I figured since I reveal trails, I might as well show you all the trails in Gonzales. So yeah, you know, they'll all lead up to the same place. This one just goes over that hill. I think it's a little more fun to come down, but I'll show you the come up. And if you want to see me come down it, write down in the comments. As you can see, there's some nice jumps in here that you can take. But yeah, I don't think I've ever done this downhill. I've only hiked up it, so let's hope I can ride up it. It's also a fun tunnel. Oh, someone's got a shoe. There's a full shoes right there. This is really beautiful. Yeah, this is a good way to... Ah! I, I could probably go up this if I tried. Right now I'm just a little exhausted, but I'll get it one day. Maybe I'll just get that out. Make it seem like I'm the perfect rider. Okay, this is much better to go down than up. Leads to and then I'll cut uh, the start for this. Kind of as a rim trail, they'll drop right down onto a steep section. But I don't think you want to see me crank up this hill that I'm going down. So I'll just cut to the top. I'm good. So this comes out right at that canyon. As you can see, here's the downhill. There's the valley. So I'll cut to going down when we just came up in three, two, one. Guys, welcome back. I'm at the top of the hill that I just climbed and skipped for you. I'm gonna go down when I just went up. And let's hope it looks okay. Oh, there goes a nice burn right there. Right You're going to want to go this way to pop out where we just went up. Ah. See, this trail definitely would recommend if you want to do a short fast bomb down trail that my chain fell off again I feel like this is just consistent with the series just I really do need to get a chain guard or something I need a chain tensioner because this is getting annoying you know no one wants to have to stop every time they ride Wow, it would be fun to jump. Ooh, it's the steep section. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I would say this is the most difficult downhill in Gonzales that I've done yet, as some of the steep sections are pretty hard to do. And this one looks also really hard to do. Whoa. It's like a two foot drop right there. That bottom. Right, the hoobly jubilees. And we are back. That was downhill, guys. I'll cut to the next interesting part. Or guys, so if you want to know how to get where we just came from, uh, it is right here. You can see this trail goes up. 
So you just follow that until it goes down, and then you'll take the first left. Um, instead of going straight, both of them lead to the same canyon, but the one you just watched was the left. Uh, if you want to see a video of me going straight, comment down below, and I'll do another Gonzalez downhill and do that one. But I am going to cut because I need a drink of water. Alright, guys, so we come in on our final jumps, final descent. Whoa. That was a good one. I learned to pop, preload. Those are some good jumps. I love a couple jumps in the morning. So yeah, if you don't want to do the final downhill, you can go up that and hop onto the free Del Mar Heights. And that is pretty much the easiest way. If you don't want to do any technical downhills, just walk down the stairs, go up that, do that. If you want to get at least one downhill in, some of the easier ones, you can keep going down this, like you've seen in the rest of the videos. Ugh. All right, coming out on the final descent. Thank you for ever who's stuck around this long. It's really kind of you. Gotta get those watch time hours up. Boom. downhill. It's kind of regrown on it. I used to hate it because I was doing it too much, but man, I'm just getting a load of it. It's just one of those that isn't too steep, but you can get enough speed to do some fun stuff. <sighs> now you don't have to take it fast. It's as fast as you want to take it. It's not one of those that it'll, it'll move you, not you move it. This, if I wanted to take it slow, I could, but I ain't. Hope the wind quality is pretty good. That wind scotch was kind of making an echo in my voice on the last video, but hopefully it doesn't do it on this one since it isn't a windy day. I've been checking my weather for it more now since I guess wind makes your audio quality bad, and people don't like videos with bad audio quality. Yeah, let's keep going. Kind of get zooming. Getting a good leg workout. <sighs> well, guys, um, thanks for stopping by and watching my trail reviews. I guess trail showers. Uh, please comment, subscribe, like, share to your friends, and get on a bike and come out here. Trust me, you'll love these trails. Alright, bye.